Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have something for you. I haven't had one of these in for a long time, and so I thought I would share it with you, this American Eagle 20th Anniversary Gold Coin Set. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, this set was put out 20 years after the first Eagles, so this is the 2006 set, and uh, came in a box and a box and a box, so we're going to look at all the boxes here, and then we're going to look at the coins. Uh, complete with uh, COA, of course, here we go, 20th anniversary set, uh, American Eagle 20th anniversary gold coin set, U.S. Mints, nice uh, nice creamy gold color there, and we've got, of course, all of the uh, hullabaloo, this one's a little bit longer than some of them, so, um, you know, they talk about some things going on here that are really cool. Uh, that uh, we've got uh, the W mint mark. We also have the uh, mirror finish and the reverse proof. The first year of the reverse proof uh, came out was on these coins here. So that's the more important part to me uh, with their overall uh, composition. The proof, uh, W mint mark, uncirculated W, and the reverse proof. And so these were all pretty cool. Let me see here. Do they mention they got uh, the coin artists? on here and uh, they don't mention the population on this it looks like I'm not seeing it anywhere on there or in the front part of this set either it didn't look like they were saying how many they're limited to but uh, they had limited it to 10,000 sets I believe there was 9,996 of these reverse proofs made and reverse proof does not mean that the coin is upside down like it happens to be in this box let's look first at the uh, uncirculated piece. So you've got the original uncirculated piece, which they would have called sometimes the, the um, burnished. And of course, people like the design. It's always been a pretty popular design. And the mint mark on these guys are right there under to the right of the date. It's a W. It's a pretty small mint mark. They're very hard to see on the smaller coins especially, because this is a full ounce of gold. This is not the, the smaller versions. And uh, really a pleasing, overall pleasing coin. You've got maybe a little spot on there. Well, some of those are probably on the surface of the holder now that I'm looking at it. But uh, you've got the eagle landing there, and it's the gold eagle. And it's the mom and the little babies in the, in the nest getting ready to take flight. Hopefully you don't have a failure to launch there. Get those kids out of the house when they're supposed to be, right? Up next, we've got the proof coin. And uh, we haven't had the chance to offer these sets very often. It's kind of a mystery to me exactly what the value is, but uh, this is from a friend, and we'll see what we can do. Um, you know, there's just the type of thing they don't really trade very frequently as a set. You'll find the coins individually, and it's really interesting to see that, but um, because they're very different. So here you've got the designer initials also on these. You see the MB and the JW on there. And the proof is a really nice striking example of what the coin can look like. So you see the difference between when you go from the uncirculated to the proof. Now, this was the first time they had done a reverse proof, which is to say they made the uh, fields matte and the design elements glossy, uh, almost mirror-like, but you can't really mirror them because they are designed. So they do have uh, that brightness to them. And it's not just the Liberty, mind you now, if you get it right, you can see it's actually all the little details on there down to the stars. The stars should all be uh, a part of that reverse proof process. And it's really hard to see and tell on here. Here you go with the mint mark. But um, it looks like it's mostly just the main fields and the rays that you can really see on there as having that reverse proof quality. So, but it should be on this side, it should be the lettering as well as the eagles. But um, I think in today's uh, modern strikes on these, uh, you'll see a lot more contrast. They've come a long way in the last uh, 15, 17 years, however long it's been since these came out. And uh, so that you can really see contrast, especially some of the world mints. The world mints make some really cool, some really cool coins where they use a lot of contrast. So this was a neat idea, design element change, very new for the U.S. market outside the box for the U.S. to do something like that. Um, you know, other countries oftentimes have a lot more, what would we say, ingenuity 
diversity, something along those lines. But this was really a, a nice step up for the U.S. Mint when they came out with these. So hats off, a nice looking set, and uh, pretty coins, and uh, really a fun, fun set. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.